Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. This is Kevin Larson, Vice President here at New Earth for today's Healthy Hustle. And after spending a few years staying close to home to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe, we can finally get back to our normal summertime celebrations. And this year, more than any other, most of us are itching for a change of scenery, which naturally lends itself to traveling a little bit more. So that begs the question, right? Where will you be traveling this summer? Will you be driving across the country to visit your family? Or are you planning to take some time off of work so you can spend a week relaxing on a tropical beach? Maybe if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you'll set aside some time to go explore a foreign city and learn about its history and culture. Whatever the case may be, there are things that need to be done. And now is the time to start to prepare. While you're busy booking flights, finding hotels, making packing lists, be sure not to overlook the, invari the very, very important task of making sure your gut is ready for the trip. After all, there is not much worse than dealing with a digestive discomfort, uh, even if it's as simple as bloating and gas, while you should be enjoying your, your much-deserved vacation right? You should be happy to be there instead, even if you aren't typically prone to digestive discomfort while traveling. There's a good chance that your travel itinerary could take a bigger toll on your gut than you might think. After all, traveling often comes after switching time zones, indulging in different cuisines, different things to eat, travel food, right? And varying away from normal eating and sleeping habits. And all of those changes can add up to affect your gut health in a couple of really significant ways. First and foremost, breaking away from your regular routine to set out on your travel adventures could result in a change in the composition of your gut microbiome. This makes sense when you think about it. There are a number of factors that can influence that bacterial composition of your microbiome, including things like diet and sleep and even your environment, which all change when you spend a week or even a weekend away. In addition to that, a recent study compared the microbiome profiles of travelers both before they departed and immediately upon return and found that people tend to pick up a variety of new microbiota during their trip. So of course, we have no way of knowing if we'll pick up good or bad microbes during our next vacation, but there is one thing we know for certain. When we return home, the composition of our gut is going to be different compared to when we left. So if your travel plans include switching time zones, uh, countries, etc., that could also impact your gut by causing jet lag, or more specifically, gut lag. You're already familiar with and likely dread jet lag, right? From a foggy brain to a general feeling of fatigue. Jet lag can seemingly affect nearly every inch of our body. But did you know that it can affect your gut as well? It's true, and it's common enough that it actually does have its own name, gut lag. Both jet lag and gut lag can occur when your travel itinerary puts your internal clock out of sync with the time in your new location. Your internal clock is based on your body's circadian rhythms, which are 24-hour cycles that your body operates off of. And those rhythms help your body regulate very important things, often overlooked things. Sleep, the sleep-wake cycle, by prompting your brain to release the proper hormones. And what does that have to do with your gut? Well, everything, potentially. Research has shown that the activity and composition of gut microbiota changes depending on whether the host is awake or asleep, suggesting that our internal clocks somehow control the bacteria in our gut. Isn't that fascinating? 
So because of this intimate connection, travel plans that leave you jet lagged can cause your gut to start lagging behind as well, which can lead to a number of different types of digestive discomfort. So as you prepare, plan to take products with you that you know can benefit your gut on the go. No matter where your travel plans take you this summer, you'll want to make sure that your gut is prepared to handle the trip. So tune into our next episode of Healthy Hustle to learn more about things that you can start doing now to have a gut healthy vacation this summer. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next Healthy Hustle. Bye-bye.